Hey, this is Chris with AffiliateTuber.com and today I'm going to do a ClickFunnels review. Now I know there's tons of reviews out there. I went over and looked at a lot of them, but for someone who's just wanting to get started in ClickFunnels, I couldn't find much information out there, so I decided to make my own review. And because what I'd done was I actually subscribed to ClickFunnels here just a couple weeks ago. I've already launched my first product and you can see here over the past couple of days I've profited over $2,430 from this. So what I'm going to do is kind of take you through and show you what I've done. Now if you want to subscribe to ClickFunnels I'm going to put a link under this video that's going to take you to my affiliate tuber website and you can get more information about ClickFunnels there. I'm going to have a full page of details and there's going to be some bonuses on that page too so if you happen to pick up ClickFunnels through my link I'm going to give you those bonuses as well so ClickFunnels is basically a place where you can go in and you can subscribe you can subscribe for two different payment options one is ninety seven dollars which is what I'm currently subscribed to and it gives you limited options but it gives you plenty of options to build multiple funnels and to launch products as you can see I've done here now you can also subscribe for two hundred ninety seven dollars a month which gives you pretty much unlimited everything and it also adds some extra options here one is called actionetics which is more about your stats and details about customers and then also one called backpack which is an affiliate a built in affiliate program that you can use to promote your products so when you go in you can get a 14 day free trial of ClickFunnels which is what I'm currently signed up for uh, so I'm still within my 14 days and within those 14 days I was able to launch my product and uh, and make some decent sales from it so what I'm going to do is take you in here to my funnels I'm going to go up to click funnels and just click on funnels and I want to show you what I've got set up so far so you can see right here I'm on the $97 a month plan then uh, for the 14 day trial that's $97 a month so what I've done is I've actually already created four different funnels four products that I've created and that I'm going to be selling now the one that I just made is called YouTube personas and so it works like this basically you go in here and you click on add new and you can choose how you want to set up your funnel I always use the cookbook it's just easier to use you come in here you click on it and you select the type of funnel that you want to create so if you want just a basic uh, sales funnel they have those here a membership funnel and a membership funnel uh, basically takes you in and will create a membership site where you can put videos and stuff in and that's what I usually use and I'll show you how that works or you can do like a product launch funnel uh, video sales letter funnel and there's all different kinds of them here to choose from so what I done is let me take you into this one here on well, my YouTube personas you can see that with my funnel I have four pages so one page is my order page my second page is my landing page which is the welcome page after they purchase the third page takes them to where they can register for the membership site and then the last page is the actual membership area where they can view the videos so let me go ahead and just take you to this site and show you what it looks like because this took me I don't know maybe about an hour to create using ClickFunnels and so I was able to create a little header up here I made this logo uh, some text some details about the product I have a little timer here and also down here where they can pay with PayPal now you can integrate with a lot of different third-party payment processors such as Clickbank JVZoo Warrior Plus and all those and you can integrate with those but for this one I just set it up to go directly through PayPal so this is my sales page and then once they purchase it's going to take them to another page here and this page is where they are going to go and it basically tells them congratulations you purchased and then down here it'll say where you can access your product now after that it's going to take them to the membership access page now with this site or this page it's going to take them you're not going to see it here because it already has me logged in but it's just a membership setup page where they enter uh, their their name their email address and a password and so that sets up their account so they can log in where they will get their training that looks like this and so the way it works is you have these lessons over here you have like your well, let me just go in here and show you the actual membership area you go in your membership area and you can see here that you have two different things you have up here where it says the process 
and this is a section like a lesson section and then under each lesson section you have your lessons and you can have as many of these sections as you want with as many lessons under each one as you want and then you can also restrict the access to each one of these so if you have upsells if I have other sections here these blue bars with other videos under them I can restrict those by going up here and just restricting access to just particular sections unless they buy them so that's great if you're offering upsells because you can have that set up so if they don't buy the upsell then they don't get access to those products if they do buy it then it shows up in their membership area so this is a really really nice um, a way of getting everything set up the builder itself is amazing I absolutely love the page builder so if we go in here and I go into edit page it's going to take us in so where I can come in here and I can hover over each item and quickly and easily change anything out uh, so if I click on my logo here I can come over here and I can change out my image I can change the alternate text change the width the height if it links to anything uh, the images have themes to them so you can choose if you want to change it obviously for a logo I don't want it to look like that so I'm not going to use a theme with it I just want it to be the actual image and then up here like this little bar that I created whoops better not do that uh, this is a, a section here any anytime you see the green this is a section and then with each each section you can put elements and rows okay so if we go down here you can see that there's first a section here and then the blue is the row and then within that we have the elements and then what we can do is under the blue area if we click on settings uh, we can make changes to uh, that row so we can adjust um, the margins we can adjust the width how wide we want the, uh, the content to be whether it's aligned top and left padding and then there's a few other options here so basically the way it works is you have sections rows and elements so each section is a completely different section so like here this gray is a section this whole gray box is a section and then down here is a white box and this is a different section so you can change the backgrounds and then you can change the rows and how many columns you want in each row so for example if I come up here and go to the bottom to add a new row I can add uh, different types of rows with you know with different amount of columns left side right side or if I have saved rows I can use those in here and add them for a new section if I click on that we can have a full width we can go to actions and there's some pre-made options we can already use there's different kinds of content we can just drop and drag or if I have my own section saved in here which I do I can just drop and drag them uh, to create that new section and I use that for when I create new funnels just to drag them over because they're already pre-made so everything in here is super easy to use and then if I want to add a new element I can come down here in the orange box and then where it says add new element click that and you can see here where you can add different types of credit card payments order bumps different text bullet list images videos video pop-outs buttons forms pretty much anything you need to make a page it is going to be on here for you to use or you can or you can come over here and click uh, based on the one that you want okay so there's that and then next you can come up here and you go to settings and you can integrate your autoresponder uh, which I done so when they come down here and they fill this out the email goes directly to my autoresponder too super easy to use you can add tracking codes background you can see the background that I have on this website I've done that through this link you can set default typographies and under general you can set uh, on submit if you want it to go to a different site uh, you can show the click funnels affiliate badge have it showing in search engines or not so really that's all there is to it but it is it is so easy to use so easy to drop and drag and one reason why I'm really really liking click funnels too is because normally with the other way that I was promoting my products and selling them is I would use a WordPress website now to have a WordPress website you have to have good hosting and I've been paying SiteGround for that usually about eighty to hundred and twenty dollars a month for a good hosting cloud server that I use for multiple domains but when you have a lot of traffic going to them it can still 
cause issues. And then you got all your WordPress plugins that constantly have to be updated and things that go on with WordPress they can get hacked into. Um, just so much stuff. I've built over well over 800 WordPress websites and I've dealt with the issues constantly and nonstop. And to have a system like ClickFunnels where all that is managed already in the background by somebody else, by them, it just takes off so much pressure and stress of dealing with a website because it's always there, it's always up, it's always running, and it's super fast. And I can just come in here and drop and drag and create a page super fast. So this is ClickFunnels. This is how it works. And there's, of course, there's a lot of options in here. I'm not going to go through everything that it has to offer, but I just wanted to give you a breakdown of what it looks like inside and how easy it is to get a product set up and launched on here because you can see that I've done all this within about a week and a half's time and I've done very well. You can go up here to your stats and you can see your stats right here. So my gross so far has been close to $2,500 on, on this product. You can see your contacts of everyone who has subscribed. You can go and look at your sales by the individual when they happened, transaction IDs, you can view more details on it. And so this blue row basically up at the top, it goes over um, your main funnel. So it's all the settings for your main funnel. And so you can uh, make some settings in here. You can turn on Stripe, integrate it with a lot of features. You can see down here, ClickBank, Warrior Plus, JVZoo, PayPal, and they, and they have other payment processors you can integrate with it. And then if we go down here into this gray area, this affects each personal page that we create. So if we go back to just the sales page, then these options here affect only the sales page. And then the membership area, these options here affect just the membership area. And so that is ClickFunnels. Now, what? let me go up here also and show you under my account where you can go down to integrations and there's all different kinds of integrations that you can add on here from different types of actions, Facebook, um, email, messaging, webinars. There are just, uh, you know, most of the integrations you're going to be using, they're going to be available on here for you. Different payment gateways you can use. Currently, I'm set up for PayPal, but there's different ones you can use. If you're not on the $297 a month plan, but if you're on the $97 a month plan like I am, you can only integrate one payment gateway. So I'm going to have to be upgrading to this soon because I'm planning on doing some other product launches with other networks. And that's going to have to be an option. But still, uh, when you look at the overall uh, quality of using ClickFunnels compared to the WordPress sites that I've been building and using and the time that I put into them, this is going to be so, so worth it. You can send emails out from your ClickFunnels account by setting it up here. You can add your own domain names and direct them directly to whatever product you're promoting. So it uses its own domain name instead of ClickFunnels. And then if you want to add additional steps to your funnel, so for, for example, this one does not have any upsells. And if I wanted to add an upsell, I could come down here to add new step. And we could just name this one upsell. I want it to show in the funnel. Click create funnel step. And then I can drag it up here to right under the sales page. So it goes there directly afterwards. I can come up to sales and you can see here one click upsell. There's also down sales. So I can just click this one. I'll do that here in just a minute, but I want to go ahead and show you some of these other ones. There's different types of opt-in pages you can have, sales pages, webinar, membership, click pop, and then just miscellaneous. But what we're going to do is go to sales and go to one click upsell. And then when you go in here, you can come in and just add any one of these. So if I was if I wanted to add this one as an upsell, We'll just, we'll just preview it. You can see what it looks like. It looks like this here, and then it replaces this with your product name. And there's all different types of them. There's just a lot of them in here. Physical products, digital products, books, courses, um, whatever. You're going to find templates in here for it. If you want to do a new sales page, you can click on sales page. And you can come over here, and you can see all the different types of sales pages they have. And then you can edit them, or you can just start from scratch and just build up your own like I done. So what I want to do now, I don't I don't want this upsell in here, so I'm just going to click this X, and it's going to delete that. And then let's go back here, and let's go into this one here. This is a new product that I'm working on, 
and if we go to edit so you can see it's kind of similar to the other product that I have as well um, where I have have a header have a logo and then down here is going to be an, an order form so this one's going to be really simple to use but all this I've created in just a little over a week's time so very easy to use highly highly recommend click funnels I've saw reviews on there before where people do not recommend click funnels and I cannot find out why you would not want to use this after I started using it I don't want to have anything to do with WordPress anymore I know WordPress allows you with so many different options and customize and and just to do stuff with plugins but for what I've been doing lately with product launches uh, this is what I'm going to be using so with that said that's my kind of overview of click funnels to give you guys a better idea of what it is and how it works and how fast you can set up uh, product launches so just remember I'm gonna put a link under this video that will take you to my website and give you more details about click funnels and there's gonna be bonuses on that page so if you pick up click funnels through my website you're also going to get those bonuses so keep that in mind before you by ClickFunnels. Uh, but I do hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like this video. I put out all kinds of videos related to affiliate marketing and video marketing. So thanks again and have a great day.